Hey YouTube, today I'm going to talk about the reality of replacing all the capacitors. I think that's not going to happen and there's a couple of reasons why I'm going to go through on the computer. As you can see I'm in my office here. Uh, it's computer time. Trying to find parts online and make orders. Not as fun as digging around in the shop but I got to get some parts on order so stick with me here and uh, maybe you can shed some light on capacitors and encoders and where to order from. Thanks and please subscribe. Here is my list of parts for the machine that I'm going to replace. It's mostly capacitors um, and the, the two encoders. So right now my plan is to just order two encoders, actually three, so I have a spare, and then the two big capacitors for the drives. Uh, what I'm finding is that it's hard to find the exact replacement capacitors and it would be a lot of work to replace them all too, which I kind of knew, but it became more apparent as I dug in. So there is, one capacitor that's very common and it's uh it's item number one and this this thing is is all over on the machine and it's um i thought i found it for cheap but i was wrong um the one that i found here was not correct so one of them did have a a label on it here that corresponds to this almost $14 capacitor. I found one like this for like $7 right here on DigiKey. Um, and this is, uh, you know, it's a tantalum. It's actually, it's not a aluminum capacitor like the other ones. Um, and these babies are expensive. Now what I noticed is that this is a military standard spec, so I'm thinking that this one's probably less likely to be bad, so I may test one, and I think, but I'm not going to order these. I mean, the idea was to replace all the capacitors for not a lot of money. This is turning out that it would be a lot of money, because there's like 13 of these puppies um, on the machine right here. Um, so. Actually, no, I take that back. There is 20 of them on the machine. So I'm certainly not paying $7, I'd pay 50 cents. But so that's that's where that is at. And then I also have, so it's gonna be that I'm gonna get the two large Mallory capacitors. And let me show you what I got here that I picked out are right here, clicking on the link. And it's, I think it's even the same brand. 100 microfarads, 250 volts. You know, the only thing I'd say is that the way it's written on the capacitor is 100 MFD, but I got off the trusty Google and determined that that's an old way of saying microfarads. So I believe that to be 100 microfarads. Uh, this one is a little bit smaller than the body of the one that's on the machine. It says it's 0.827 by 1.5. I was more like 0.9 by 2 inches. So that's one thing that I don't know if that's an issue or not. But I'm going to get two of these. They're $6 each. And then the motor encoder, they have it for... $31.97 on DigiKey right here. I think I'm gonna get this one here instead. It would be, it's an imported one, but the price on this thing is $10. It'd be the HD, HEDS 9100-A00. So I'm gonna get, like I'm gonna get three of them, $10.22 each. So I get three for the price of one. 
I just got to wait for it. That's all for today. Let me know what you think. Thanks. Please like and subscribe and look forward to your feedback.